Hey, we've covered dark matter, the invisible glue, and dark energy, the invisible engine. But now let's put them together to look at the biggest, most mind-bending structure in the entire cosmos, the cosmic web. This is the massive, sponge-like skeleton of the universe, and it determines where everything else goes. Forget individual stars and galaxies for a second. When you zoom out, the universe isn't uniform and smooth. It's organized into an incredible three-dimensional pattern. Imagine a vast, interconnected structure made up of three main parts, filaments, nodes, and voids. Think of it like a spider web or the connections in your brain. The filaments are long, thin strands of dark matter and hot gas. These strands act like cosmic highways, funneling matter towards the densest regions. Where those filaments cross or intersect, they create gigantic, bright knots called nodes. These nodes are where the biggest, most powerful galaxy clusters live, massive cosmic cities packed with thousands of galaxies. In between all these filaments and nodes are the voids. These are enormous, empty bubbles of space, hundreds of millions of light years across, with almost no galaxies and very little matter. They are the true deserts of the universe. So how did this web get built? It all goes back to the Big Bang and dark matter. The early universe wasn't perfectly smooth. It had tiny, tiny ripples in density created by quantum fluctuations. Dark matter, being immune to radiation and pressure, was the first thing to respond to these ripples. Over billions of years, gravity pulled dark matter toward those denser regions. It clumped into long, stringy structures, the filaments. The normal matter, the hydrogen and helium gas that eventually makes stars and galaxies, was then drawn or rained onto this invisible dark matter scaffolding. The dark matter built the house and the visible matter just moved in. The cosmic web is constantly growing and evolving, fueled by the relentless pull of gravity and stretched by dark energy. And because it's built from dark matter, we can only really map it by looking at where the galaxies are clumped together or by looking for the faint hot gas that has been dragged along the filaments. So the next time you look at the stars, remember that the galaxies you see are just clustered along the threads of a colossal invisible spider web built by dark matter, which extends across the entire observable universe. Pretty wild, right?